Hello, my name is Alexandra Golfus, and today I will be discussing the four horsemen of the apocalypse, <laughs> apocalypse as described in chapter three of the seven principles for marriage work by John Gottman. <laughs> so <clears throat> in chapter three, Gottman describes four negative forms of communication that he proclaims can be used to help accurately predict the long-term failure or success of a couple's relationship. Or in other words, um, this is when negative communication patterns um, often can predict the end of a relationship, hence the apocalypse reference. <clears throat> Additionally, in chapter three, Gottman provides tips for counselors to help clients reduce the usage of negative communication patterns and therefore um, increasing the success of their relationships. So, the first form of communication that often leads to a failed marriage is criticism that Gottman mentions. Um, criticism can be understood as an attack on the character of the recipient slash listener. So there are some solutions as well. Counselors can help the couple understand the difference between a complaint versus a criticism. A complaint focuses on a specific behavior or event, while a criticism is more global and expresses negative feelings or opinions about the other's character or personality. So you can see how a criticism is definitely more personal whenever it's coming at your personality and your character versus a complaint is more focused on the event, which makes um, the other person way more open to communication. So instead of focusing on a specific behavior of your partner when communicating, try using I statements when talking about your feelings is another tip that counselors can give to their clients. <clears throat> like for example, you could say, I am really upset you didn't brush the dog last night. We agreed you would every Tuesday night. Could you please do it now? <clears throat> Versus, why can't you remember to do the one chore I ask of you? You must not care about how stressed out I am. So uh, this was a personal example for me. We have three dogs and a cat in the house, and I'm currently engaged. So definitely nice to have a little brush up on marriage. <clears throat> um Basically, it's just reframing the question, though. That will definitely help out. The next form of communication Gottman describes that can predict divorce is contempt. Contempt is the expression of superior superiority. <laughs> That's my cat, sorry. Um, that often comes out as sarcasm and conveys disgust. It is a form of disrespect and ultimately leads to more conflict rather than resolution. So um, contempt can be communicated either verbally or nonverbal, which is where that can get a little um, tricky for someone to notice within themselves. Um, for example, name calling, eye rolling, mockery. Um, so obviously kind of down the alley of mockery, be cautious, be cautious of contempt masked as jokes. Um, you know, I've kind of always been behind the a joke that is at the expense of others isn't really all that funny. <clears throat> the third form of communication Gottman describes that can predict divorce is defensive defensiveness. <laughs> if I can talk today. Defensiveness is self-protection through righteousness or playing the victim. Defensiveness is really just a covert, covert <laughs> way of blaming your partner, basically saying the problem isn't me, it's you. Um, so counselors can help couples realize how defensiveness adds to the problem rather than fixing it. So they learn to accept responsibility, even if only for part of the conflict. Um, you know, the classic, it takes two tango saying kind of applies there, um, to deescalate defensiveness. The last form of communication Gottman describes that can predict divorce, or I guess the failing of a relationship is stonewalling. <clears throat> stonewalling occurs when the listener withdraws from the conversation without resolving anything. Stonewalling is often a response to prolonged negative communication, such as criticism, contempt, and defensiveness, as we discussed earlier in this video. <clears throat> Counselors can help clients learn to focus on what went right rather than wrong, or in other words, focus on strengths rather than weaknesses. Um, so yeah, that concludes the discussion of the four horsemen of the apocalypse as presented by Kant. That got me in, in chapter three of the seven principles for making marriage work. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that up one more time. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the presentation and thank you for listening.